Hi, I am sure by now you are aware of the AI enabled adaptive questions practice feature on the My IMS portal. Now today we want to explore how exactly to use this feature if you are struggling to overcome a particular topic. So let's say for example there is a question type that exists which you have not been able to crack. So how do you make sure that you achieve competence in that particular question topic? So what we are going to do in this case is we are going to look at an actual SIMCAT question and see how to progress in terms of competency at a particular question type. So here for your benefit I have already taken SIMCAT 1 or rather I have solved some questions from SIMCAT 1 and have tried to make some errors as well so that we can learn as to how to improve the topics that we are not so good at. So let's have a look at the review of this particular SIMCAT and then let's go to a question which will satisfy our criteria. So now that we are at the review screen, let's go to the quant section and see what happens. So in this case, what we have done is we have got questions 4 and 6 wrong. So here let's say for example, we go to question number 4. Now this question as you have here says that time taken by 7 men and 8 robots to complete a job takes what 70% less amount of time compared to the same job being done by three men and two robots and we also know that six robots can finish this job in four days. And we had to figure out uh, the number of days that were required by a group of three men to finish this particular job. Now let's say for example, I get this question wrong. Now first I have to understand why did I get this particular question wrong. I have to sit and solve this entire question on my own and try to figure out as to where was it that I made a mistake. Now let's say I sit and solve this particular question and figure out where I have made a mistake. Now the next logical step would be to go to the answer explanation and figure out as to what exactly has been said in the video solution. So the video solution that you have here would have elaborated the perfect way of solving this particular question. So in this case again you might have wanted to start with let's say 7 men will do 7 m units of work in a day, 8 robots will do 8 r units of work every day. And because the time taken is 70% less, it means that the time taken is 30% of something, then how exactly would you have proceeded? So the first step would be for you to solve the question on your own and see if you are getting the correct answer or not. The second step would be for you to look at the answer explanation and see if you have applied the correct method or not. Now once you have done these two steps, what you need to do is you need to feel more confident that okay, if next time, if I see this question at an actual test, I will be able to solve it without any hesitation. And for that, you can again use our AI powered adaptive questions practice feature by just clicking on this button and having a look at the fresh question that this AI is going to give you. So here we have a fresh question in front of us. Now the question changes the parameters by a bit. We have four men and six robots. The time taken is 40% less then the same job done by four men and two robots. Now three robots can finish that job in eight days. You need to figure out in how many days will a group of two men finish the job. So again the question is changed. It is different compared to what the original question was because the system expects you to figure out as to how exactly to solve this and how exactly to apply the learning that you would have received by watching the video solution. So in this case, let's say for example, you come up with the conclusion that the amount of work done by a man per day is the same as the amount of work done by a robot per day. So in that case, what will happen is our answer will be 12 days. So let's try to feed 12 into this text box and see what happens here. So once we submit the answer, the system is going to tell us whether we have got it right or not. So in this case, we have got the answer right. So what we did was we applied the exact same method that was used in the video solution and we came up with the answer on our own. Now let's try to make things a bit more challenging and let's see what happens if we go to the next question and try to see if we have achieved competence or not. In this question, we have been given that three men complete a job in 21 days, seven robots finish the job in three days. By what percent less time or what percent less time taken by seven men and 11 robots to complete a job working together than the time taken by four men and two robots for the same job, right? So now we are given the amount of time taken by men and robots to finish the job individually. And now we have to figure out what happens when we are comparing two combinations. 
So in this case, let's say for example, you feel that this question is different from what you had done earlier and you will need some hand holding in terms of how exactly to go about the solution. Then you have this thing called C hint. Now in this hint, you have been told that the amount of work done in a single day by a man and a robot is 1 by 63 and 1 by 21 respectively. Now you may or may not choose to use this hint to solve your particular question but this is what the AI is telling you that will be helpful to you in solving this particular question. So let's see if this hint helps us in getting the correct answer or not. So in this case, let's say for example that I figured out that the ratio is 4 is to 1 and that's why I ended up entering 400% as my answer because the answer is expected in terms of percentage. Let's say I put 400 in the answer box. Now what I can do is I can submit this particular answer and see what happens. So sadly in this case our answer is wrong and that's why if you look at the progress bar, the progress bar that was at 50% earlier has come down to 33.33% because now the AI believes that you have still not achieved competency in this particular question type. So if you look at what went wrong, we said that our answer was 1 is to 4 or 400%. But what we did not see was we had to figure out what was the change in terms of percentage and not just the ratio let's say. And that's why the answer was supposed to be 75% and you could have used this method to solve this particular question and arrive at the correct answer. Now that we have figured out that okay this is where we made a mistake, let's see what happens if we go to the next question. So here if you look at the next question, again the question tells you that 5 men complete a job in 12 days, 8 robots finish it in 3 days and so on. Now this question is similar to the one that we had got wrong, just that the values are changed. So now the system is prompting us to figure out whether we have achieved competence in that particular question type or not. So let's see this question, attempt it and hope to get it right this time around. So in this case, let's say for example our answer is coming out to be a weird number which is 212.5 let's say for example, right. So if our number is 212.5 and we end up submitting the answer, then we will see what exactly went right or went wrong in this particular case. So sadly in this case as well our answer was wrong. So what you can do is you can have a look at the correct answer and see where you went wrong. And you can do this multiple times. So the whole idea behind getting these answers wrong was you should be able to attempt this as many times as you like to before you arrive at the correct answer. So in this case even if you got a particular question wrong twice, it's perfectly okay. You can have a look at the solution and then you can see what was the step where you got your answer wrong and then work on that particular step so that you get it right the next time around. Now we have got a fresh question here, let's attempt this one and let's hope to get this one right this time around at least. So here let's say the correct answer is 98, let's enter 98 in this text box here and let's see what happens. So I submitted the answer here and we will be waiting for the solution to show up. So as we mentioned, we can try this again and again and again. So let's try to get these things right and then I will show you what happens when you go to the next stage. So here we have got the answer right to this particular question and that's why we are at 33.33% but now you can move on to the next question and see what happens. You have to keep on doing this till the time you achieve competence at a particular topic. So let's cross the progress bar to easy and let's go to the medium progress bar and see what happens there. So now we have moved to the next level. So now we are going to get questions that are moderate or medium in terms of levels of difficulty. So if you look at the question here, what is going to happen is now the questions will be slightly higher in terms of difficulty compared to the ones that we were solving earlier. So what you can do in this context is you can keep on solving these questions till the time the system puts your competency at 100% at the medium level and then you can maybe have a look at your achievement in terms of what you know about the topic now compared to what you knew about it earlier. So in this case, again let's finish this entire thing and see how you can make more use of this AI enabled adaptive questions practice feature. So you can see that we have now completed the medium level of difficulty as well. So once you are done with this entire thing, the system will tell you that you have completed the topic and you can now choose another topic to improve. So what you have to do is you have to again go back to your SimCat, have a look at another question, go to the AI powered adaptive practice feature and solve a fresh set of questions. So however many questions you get wrong, it's okay. Till the time you achieve 100% in terms of the level of difficulty, the system is going to keep on giving questions to you one after the other. 
and these questions are randomly generated. So it's not as if you are going to get the same question as someone else is going to get. The system is wise enough to understand where is it that you are making a mistake and then it will tweak the data accordingly to make sure that you go from one step to another with some confidence. And that is where the AI enabled adaptive questions practice feature comes into play when you are preparing for the CAT. We hope that you use this feature to its entirety and improve in terms of each question that you come across when it comes to the SIMCAT. As of now, the feature is available for proctored SIMCATs for the DILR and the quant sections. So we hope that you make the most of it. All the best with your preparation.